Japan to prolong the virus state of emergency in Tokyo and other regions and impose restrictions in more areas from today. COVID-19 cases on a surge in Japan ahead with less than three months left for the Tokyo Olympics and the emergency measures focus on limiting commercial activity with malls closed, bars and restaurants told to shut or stop serving alcohol. They were imposed in Tokyo, Osaka and two other regions in late April and had to be and had been due to end on May 11th. But the government is now expected to extend the restrictions until the end of May. It may also impose curbs in Fukuoka and Aishi prefectures, yeah. where infections are spiking. A formal announcement will be made later today. Japan's COVID-19 outbreak remains much smaller than in many countries with around 10,000 deaths. But its vaccine rollout is moving slowly and more infectious variants are driving fresh waves of the contagion. Record case numbers are seen in some regions and medics warn that hospitals are under strain. The pandemic postponed 2020 Olympics are due to open in July. On July 23rd, the government and games organizers insist that they will go ahead safely, although a majority of Japanese people support cancellation or another delay. U.S. drugs giant Pfizer and its German partner BioNTech on Thursday announced a deal with the International Olympic Committee to provide vaccines to competitors and staff at the Tokyo Games. The pandemic has disrupted test events for the Olympics with several postponed, cancelled or moved abroad. Although the diving World Cup and a rowing qualifier went ahead this week in Tokyo with athletes from abroad, several sections of the torch relay have also been moved off-road to prevent people gathering to watch Olympic organizers are yet to decide how many fans, if any, will be allowed at the Games. Overseas spectators were already barred from attending the sporting fest. And we on correspondent Phoebe Omoroso joins us live from Tokyo for more on this. Phoebe, will this extension have any effect on the preparations for the Tokyo Olympics? I think that's a question that many people are asking around the world. Suddenly, from uh, the organizers' perspective, they are pushing ahead, full steam ahead, as it were. Uh, Sebastian Coe, who is the World Athletics uh, president, is currently in Japan, and he was at a test event held in Hokkaido on Wednesday, the half marathon, overseeing the preparations there, saying that everything was running smoothly, and he has high hopes that the Games will be a symbol of optimism going forwards. And uh, he's met, met with uh, Seiko Hashimoto, who is the uh, president of the Tokyo Olympic Committee today. We'll be waiting to hear her thoughts later on. And of course, as you reported, there is news that athletes will be provided with a vaccine. And that is likely to reassure many people and feel um, safer in coming to Japan. However, practically, the medical system here is under increasing strain. Um, several hospitals are at maximum capacity for patients with serious COVID symptoms. And uh, if they cannot provide enough medical staff um, for the current situation, they won't be able to provide medical staff for the Olympics. And that remains a concern. Yes, absolutely. Also, I was just going to come to that. There is growing sentiment against holding the Olympics amid the pandemic. What's the situation on ground? Absolutely. Polls have consistently shown that 70 to 80 percent of the public are uh, for cancelling or postponing the Games. And just in the past two days, a new petition was launched online and just this morning, it has surpassed 200,000 signatures. From the public's perspective, there's not much to be gained. It looks like domestic spectators uh, will not be allowed. Uh, for businesses that were relying on uh, foreign spectators, of course, um, only athletes and the delegates come, come into the country. And uh, from this news of the vaccine provided uh, by the IOC, many people here in Japan, well, the vast majority of the population is not vaccinated. And there was uproar last month in which uh, there was an announcement that, well, reports that potentially uh, athletes could be prioritized for a vaccine. Hmm. So although the IOC is saying that uh, they're providing vaccines out of a symbol of respect for the Japanese people, it's unlikely uh, many are going to view it in that way. Yes, and what do you think these curbs will entail and will it include any new areas? 
A panel of experts were meeting this morning and they've approved the plan. And as you reported, uh, two prefectures, Aichi and Fukuoka, will now be included. Uh, Nishimura, who is the minister in charge of Japan's COVID-19 response, says it's still a very strong sense of, of crisis. So, but the measures will be ch changed slightly. So restaurants that uh, provide alcohol um, will still be asked to shut, but large commercial facilities will now be able to reopen with limited hours. And sporting mm. events, um, spectators had been banned, but currently uh, they will, well, from now on, they will be allowed to have 5,000 spectators or 50% of venue capacity. And one big change is that we heard um, from today, uh, JR East, which is a large train operator, um, runs Yamanote as a central line here in Tokyo. They had reduced capacity, it uh, reduced the number of trains running in line with government requests, but that led to overcrowding and had it backfired. Some carriages 180% um, over capacity. So mm. they will be running at normal schedule. As for other areas in a quasi-state of emergency, those will largely continue, although there's one area in the north that will be removed from these measures. Overall, however, they are being expanded. All right, Phoebe. Thank you so much for joining us with all those details on this. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.